Welcome to the tutorial on writing mouse style in Power BI. If you are looking to create more engaging and dynamic reports, you've come to the right place. By using the writing mouse style, you can display your data in a vertical or horizontal way. Depending on your needs, this will allow you to better compare information and make your reports stand out. In this video, I will show you step by step how to apply the writing mode style and also text orientation in your visuals in your Power BI like you see in my screen here. So to start it and after this I will show you the difference between them and I will start now with inline style after that I will create a visuals with tag style. So let's delete this old and let's create the HTML with creator search. After this, let's create our new major. Let's name it vertical RL. And now let's create our HTML here. I will just create a paragraph. That's all we need. And now we'll create an example text. So here is our simple paragraph and let's now give it an inline style. In the inline style, I need to add a writing mode. In the writing mode, I will use two values. The first is vertical RL and the second is the vertical LR. In our case here, we need to use the RL. The RL means is the content flow vertically from top to bottom and horizontally from right to left. Okay. So let's give it the value. And now let's enter to see the results. So here is our first result is the vertical align from right to left. Let's now copy this code and let's create a new measure who can add our vertical text from left to right let's paste the code here and change the name from left to right and what we're gonna need now is just change two words in the style the two words is r l it will be l r it means left to right so let's enter to validate this measure and also we need to create a new HTML with creator search here and let's give it our second measure sorry I need to add this left to right and we will see here the difference between them the first it started from right to left and the second it started from left to right in a vertical align. The next step now and on top of it you can also indicate a corresponding text orientation and I will do it now by tag style and the class name. To do this step and because we will create a tag style we can use the HTML with creator flex. So let's create a new one. And now let's copy exactly the code in all the major and let's create a new major here. Let's paste the code. What we're gonna change is the name of major. Let's give it upright 
URL. And now let's create the style tag. After this, we need to style the paragraph. As simply, we can add here just the P or in our case, I will showing you how to style it with a class name. So to style it with a class name, we need to add a class name here. Just you can create class and give it a name. I will give it the same name of the name of measure or L. And to give it the style, you just need to add point and the name of class. And you can give it the style you need. In our case here, we need to add this style. We will copy it inline style and paste it here. And now let's delete the inline style. And here we will see the same result we have in the old major. Okay, let's enter to validate. And we will see the result here. And here is the result, the same of the first result from right to left. Now, the important thing what we're gonna need to add is a text orientation. So the text orientation you need to add it here. So let's give it text orientation. And for the value we need to add an upright value. So the upright value that means character aren't rotated but standing upright. So now let's see the results and the difference between them. So here is the result as you can see the letters and the words is upright. Okay, I will add another one from left to right it's uh, this is from right to left i will add a new one exactly the same thing what we're gonna do in here so let's add an html with creator flex and let's copy the same code from upright right to left and our in our new measure we will paste it here and just change right to left to left to right and also the important thing to change is this to word left to right and now we will see the result here as we can see here is the text start from left to right also here start from left to right but you can show now the difference between them so this feature is accessible to all power bi users by using our visuals html with creator regardless of their technical expertise now you know how to make the most out of the limited you have in power bi of course, the writing mode and text orientation tags can also be used in tables and other elements and can be combined with other style tag. Take a look at the links in the description to learn more about the usage of the powerful HTML with creator visuals.